36 here, and in this video, um, I made a gun. Uh, as you can see, this is it right here, on both sides right here. And um, it took me quite a while. I built this from a quit kit, sorry. Um, and it's got its own trigger mechanism, and this right here, this right here is the place where the bullets uh, will be fired out of, barrel too, right here. Um, this right here, inside these little bars, is the trigger mechanism. As soon as I pull this trigger, this little blue spot right there will push this gray block inside, pushing a bullet into the motors right here, which will be shot out of the barrel. And um, this is the clip. It uh, holds 10 darts. Right here is 9. The other dart is right here. This is what they look like. And the top is kind of like when you push it, it kind of like contracts a little. And um, yeah. So here's the switch, and right now it's on. As you can see, it makes that sound because the motors are spinning. And this is how far it will shoot. And, um, and this is how you reload it. Take out the, the clip from the gun, and you take a bullet, and as you can see, there's a, there's a little arrow right there, so you can see um, which way the bullet goes. And what I do, I just put, put it right here and push it in, and the more as it goes, it'll squish down from the spring right here. And, um, and then you put it inside the the chamber. Oops. And once it's in the chamber, you 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 click it in, and um, here is the here's the trigger mechanism. Um, the, the right now the motors are off, so as you can see, it kind of expands a little bit, and it pushes the bullet inside. To where at least the motors are touching, which they spin outwards like my coin shooter, and it gets propelled through the sparrow right here. And my and my I think I estimate it to be about um, maybe 15 feet it fires, actually maybe 20 to 25. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.